free DOS includes a utility called Slowdown that allows you to play classic DOS games on faster modern hardware. And Slowdown is usually a great solution for most games, but it doesn't really get you there for everything. And this is one of those examples. This is Epic Pinball, and I was a huge fan of this in the 1990s when it came out. And I was really thrilled to find a copy on GOG that I could buy and install on my FreeDOS instance at home running under VirtualBox. But I haven't been able to use a, a, a uh, configuration using slowdown that makes this playable for a human being. I'm, I'm not speeding up the video here. The game really is just running this fast. Uh, so I wanted to share there is actually a way that you can make this more playable at least under VirtualBox without having to go to uh, slowdown. And that is if you go to the VirtualBox manager itself and I go to settings and then I go to system and then processor, you can see that it has the ability to change the execution cap. And this is basically the amount of CPU that this virtual machine is allowed to use. And you usually want this to be set at 100% so that way you get the best possible performance. But if you wanna slow down the virtual machine, you just need to lower the execution cap to some smaller number. Let's drop the execution cap down to somewhere in the 40s. We'll make it about 42%. Now you do get a little warning down here about invalid settings detected. Lowering the processor execution cap may result in a decline in performance. And yeah, for most applications, you don't want that. But in this case, trying to play Epic Pinball, I, that's exactly the, the, uh, the result that I want. I want this to be uh, a decline in performance so that way a human being can play the game. So if I click OK, that'll actually apply the settings. You can see already in the background there, my, my game has actually been slowed down. Now it does require dialing in uh, for performance. You'll need to adjust uh, different execution caps for different games. And in this case, 40 is a bit low. I mean, this is 42% and this is a little bit laggy, uh, but at least we can see we're getting more into the human playable range. Uh, so if you need to adjust your, uh, your settings, just go into VirtualBox Manager, go under Settings, and then go under System, and then processor, and then you can adjust the execution cap. Let's bring this up a little bit. Let's bring it into the 50s somewhere, and then click OK. And now the game is running a little bit faster, and it's probably getting a little closer to where a human being can actually play the game, and it's not too laggy. And if I hit Escape, I can start playing a game. And so I'll go into the menu here, go to Begin, and then I'll play the Android table, which is exactly what we were seeing in the demo. And I'll just start a new game. And as I uh, kick the ball into the table, you can see that it's now at a speed that a human being can play. This is actually, I, I'm not playing it very well, but a human being can actually play this. You don't have to have superhuman reaction speeds uh, to be able to play this game. And you just need to be, you know, a modicum of good at it, which I apparently am not yet. So I need to get better at this game. Uh, but as you can see, I'm able to adjust the performance by going under settings. And let's do it one more time here. System and then processor. And let's make this maybe a little bit lower down to 49. And then we'll go back to the board and we can kick that back out. Oops, didn't quite give it enough power. There we go. This is feeling to me a little bit better. This is feeling a little bit more like a game that kind of feels like something I could play. Reaction time is, is feeling better. And so this is probably the setting that I might start getting a little closer to anyway. So anyway, I just wanted to share a quick video. I'll let that one go. I'm going to share a quick video about how you can adjust the settings under VirtualBox to make classic DOS games easier to play. What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. So thank you very much for your support. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you again, especially here for that. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.